Hello young language enthusiasts. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of English. We'll uncover the wonders of Standard English, the language gentleman, and its fun-loving cousin, non-Standard English. Let's begin with Standard English. It's like the polished version of our language, a formal and clear way of speaking and writing. Standard English shines in situations where precision and formality matter. It is your go-to language for school assignments, books, and conversations with teachers and adults. In Standard English, we say, I am going to the store. But what about non-Standard English? We might say, I'm gonna go to the store. Non-Standard English is like our friendly, informal language buddy. We turn to non-Standard English when we're with friends, sharing stories, or simply having relaxed conversations. So, we have Standard English for formal occasions, and non-Standard English for casual and fun times. Here are some key features of Standard English to remember. Feature 1. Clarity and Precision In Standard English, we prioritize clear and precise communication. Every word and sentence is carefully crafted. Standard English example. I have not seen that movie. Non-standard English example. I ain't seen that movie. Feature 2. Proper pronunciation. Standard English often follows the received pronunciation, which is a way of speaking that maintains a consistent and universally recognized pronunciation. Standard English example. She is going to the party. Non-standard English example. She's going to the party. Feature 3. Formal Vocabulary It uses a formal vocabulary suitable for academic and professional contexts. No room for slang or casual expressions here. Standard English example. He's going to purchase a stylish car. Non-standard English example. He's gonna buy a cool ride. Feature 4. Proper Verb Usage it is about making sure we use our action words, that is, a verbs, the right way. Standard English. They are not coming to the party. Non-standard English. They ain't coming to the party. Feature 5. Correct Pronoun Forms. It is about choosing the right words to talk about people. Standard English. They will not be joining us. Non-standard English them won't be joining us. Feature 6. Complete Sentences It is about making sure our words make complete sense. It's like telling a whole story instead of just a part of it. Standard English. I cannot come to the game. Non-standard English. Can't come to the game. Now, let's put your knowledge to the test. Can you tell me when you'd use Standard English and when you'd use non-Standard English in these scenarios? Situation 1. Speaking to your teacher during a lesson. Standard English. Exactly. Situation 2. Playing with your friends at the park. Non-Standard English. Perfect. Situation 3. Writing a letter to a respected author. Standard English. You got it. Great job, language explorers. You've discovered the magic of standard and non-standard English and learned key features of standard English. Remember, use standard English for formal occasions and non-standard English for casual chats. Until our next adventure, keep talking and writing with confidence. <laughs>